Hi, my name is Tim, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to diagnose a lack of airflow due to a dirty filter on the gas furnace simulator. Now to begin with, let's turn the thermostat to call for heat by clicking on the selector switch. This will also turn up the room temperature setting. Refer to the procedure guide at the top after each step, so we're going to click OK now that we've done this. Next, we need to take a brief inventory of which loads are operating. So to begin with, we're going to click on the cover of the furnace to remove it. Now when we do this, the door switch located right here at the bottom right is going to open its contacts and break power to the furnace. So it's going to be necessary to tape that door switch in. So just click on this little piece of tape up here at the center, and that will tape the door switch in, ensuring its contacts are closed and power is reaching the furnace. Again, click OK on the procedure guide. Next, let's see what's running. While the inducer's running, as evidenced by these spinning blue arrows, so we can click yes up here. Our next step is to reboot the system. Now, this is due to the fact that if the furnace trips on a safety switch three times, or it fails to prove flame three times, it will typically lock out and also populate an error code on the integrated furnace control. So we're gonna restart, we're gonna assume the unit is in lockout and we're gonna reboot it and click OK. Now we need to be ready to look at what comes on and we can see our igniter is glowing so we can click yes on the procedure guide and we see that our burners fire. So again, let's click yes. Next, do the burners continuously run? Do they actually stay on? Well, let's watch for a little bit and see what happens. We can see the burners are lit and they seem to run for longer than 10 seconds, but then they shut off. Now, if they were running for less than 10 seconds, that would most likely indicate a flame sensing problem. But in this case, they're staying on for longer than 10 seconds, then they're going off, and then they seem to be coming back on again. And again, after three trips like this, uh, the unit will lock out, and again, it will be necessary to restart or reboot the system. So we're going to click no, that our burners are not continuously running, but they are running between 10 and 60 seconds. Now this most likely means we have a safety switch that's opening, either a pressure switch or a high limit. Uh, the most obvious thing here is to check the filter for cleanliness at this point. Just click on the filter and remove it. And we can see that the filter is pretty dirty here, so that's most likely our problem. The dirty filter is resulting in a lack of airflow across the heat exchanger, causing it to overheat and the high limit is more than likely tripping off because of this. So no, the filter's not clean and we're actually going to replace it. So we're going to click on the filter and click replace. And this solves the problem. Uh, but before you leave the job, don't forget to observe one full cycle of operation to make sure everything is functioning properly. And at that point, go up to the residence and just verify that heat is being received through the floor registers. And we can see here from the graphic that it is. Now, if you need to review any of the steps that we took in this procedure, simply click this top left icon and you'll be able to review each of the steps in the process that we took to find the dirty filter. Good luck on all your future service calls and I'll see you back here soon. Thanks for watching. You can try our on demand VR enabled learning for HVAC by signing up for a free trial. Go to interplaylearning.com to get started.